Hi gamers! Well, this is it. Some of the most cherished collectibles in my video game collection uh, is included in this video. I give you my Nintendo 64 controller collection. Now, Nintendo really outdid them, uh, themselves uh, with the color variety <laughs> on the Nintendo 64. These uh, six original con uh, colors are just the tip of the iceberg. There were many, many more. And, uh, but you know, uh, from the get-go, uh, you could buy uh, your controller in six colors. Gray, green, yellow, uh, blue, black and red. Uh, this packaging is the Western packaging and the controllers were also available in Japan. Like so. Again here the distinct Japanese boxing here. Uh, but uh, the consoles themselves uh, weren't available in these colors. The console was always the uh, dark grey or black console. Uh, towards the end of uh, Nintendo 64's life cycle, Nintendo released the so-called fantastic consoles and the, the controllers to boot. They are these colorful, colorful uh, see-through controllers and uh, machines. Here we have a smoke, jungle green, fire, watermelon, grape and ice. Pretty cool stuff, and you know, I <laughs> I don't mean to uh, tout my own horn here, but these things are impossible to get in sealed condition. These are the uh, American sealed blisters. These uh, controllers were not sold separately in Europe, and for the most cases, uh, even not in even in Japan. Uh, meanwhile, Australia got these uh, control controllers uh, separately, although I am missing my set here. I only have the green uh, fire, grape and ice. But I gotta tell you, I've been searching for the missing uh, smoke and watermelon controllers for, I don't know, years. And I, I haven't seen them once uh, pop on on eBay. You know, with the box and all, of course, I've, I've seen the loose controllers, but, you know, if anyone lives in Australia and could get the, the boxes for me, I would pay a lot of money for that. Or even just, you know, verify that they have seen it, so it would mean a lot to me. Uh, maybe they released only the, these four colors, but I think that they released all six, but at least the two uh, leftovers are quite rare. I'm not sure why, but they seem to be. Other see-through colors we have here are Atomic Purple and Extreme Green. Pretty beat up boxes here. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta take what I, I can get. These are not common as well. And uh, Japan also had the Atomic Purple and the box looks like this. And like I said previously, Japan didn't get the full range of the uh, fantastic consoles or controllers. But they did get at least the smoke controller and the grape. I've heard rumors that they had at least the ice controller, the blue see-through controller, but again, I've never seen one. So, you know, collecting these is uh, its a real treat. You never know, you know, what is super rare uh, and uh, it, it, it is out there or if something simply doesn't exist. But at least these do. Next up in the see-through list uh, we have a dual-colored uh, where the bottom is clear and the uh, top is either clear uh, pink or clear light blue. Uh, these are the Japanese versions and this is the European version. They had also uh, matching consoles released for them and uh, these weren't released in the USA at all. Next up, let's go here. We have the gold controller. Uh, these two are actually the same uh, solid gold controller 
released for Japan, but they had two different packaging. Don't ask me why. But mainly these were to commemorate the release of Ocarina of Time. Again, here is an American uh, sealed uh, controller and uh, these weren't sold separately uh, in Europe at all. Next up, some Pokemon stuff. Uh, these special uh, <laughs> consoles are really something. You got a power button uh, in the shape of a Pokeball and uh, a reset uh, in Pikachu's foot here. And uh, in Europe, uh, this uh, console had a controller like this, blue and yellow, with a Pokemon logo there. And this is from Australia, with some Pokemon uh, stuff on top here and the controller is uh, yellow and blue. Pretty much the same. Uh, Japan had also two uh, different uh, colors of this Pikachu console. Uh, a blue-yellow and an orange-yellow. The blue is slightly uh, lighter than in the European and American versions. So this is a different uh, control altogether. Also, they have a different emblem here. It says Pikachu and Nintendo 64 instead of Pokemon. So that's a bit different. And then onto some pretty special stuff. Uh, this is a Mario Kart 64 boxed set which came with this kind of controller. So again, dual color here. And uh, then I have some of the rarest stuff in my collection. Uh, this is, well, basically the coloring is the same as the Mario Kart controller, but this is a lot rarer because of this small lion emblem here. This was only sold in one uh, chain of stores, the Hello Mac uh, controller here. And uh, really rare. This is basically the only one I've ever seen on eBay and actually I bought it. <laughs> so that's cool stuff. Then uh, a Japanese limited edition. This uh, like the two previous ones. This wasn't released outside Japan. A console that is uh, clear black and clear orange. And a controller to boot. Here. This was also sold separately. And uh, there is also one more uh, uh, limited edition that I'm still missing, both in console and controller form. Uh, this is the Daiye Hawks uh, store special edition, sold only in, sold o sold only in Daiye stores. And there is also a, a Jasco 30th anniversary. Uh, store a limited edition which has a gray top and a clear white bottom. It also has a controller, a matching controller, but I of that I am not sure again uh, if it was sold separately in a separate pocket, um, package like the orange and black controller. And then coming back to back to America we have the trio of Nintendo Power controllers. These are uh, promo controllers. They were never uh, released with a packaging, just loose controllers. And we have here uh, a pretty much a normal gold one, which has a sticker Nintendo Power 100 here to commemorate the 100th issue of the magazine. And then we have coinciding with the release of Donkey Kong 64, a DK64 logo here, and a yellow controller that has brown tips made to look like a banana. Unfortunately, unfortunately mine is uh, quite worn here, but maybe I should get another one here. But a cool controller nonetheless. And finally, here we have a Millennium 2000. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, limited to 2000 copies and uh, the rarest of the bunch for sure. And uh, uh, also this is the only controller that has differently colored d-pad and buttons. They are black. You know, out of all, this, uh, all these colors that you've just seen, all the buttons are all, always the same. But this is a bit different. And finally, let me get this out of the way.
maybe my my most precious Nintendo 64 possession. Uh, this controller is so rare that I don't I would I don't even know to begin uh, how to tell about it. Basically, this was uh, 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 made only for Nintendo internally given out to their employees when the Nintendo 64 you know started and this was uh, also given out um, in E3 1997 to uh, Star Fox competition winners. Uh, this is a gold and black controller with a Nintendo 64 gold emblem here. Uh, this is incredibly rare, you know, I don't know how many of these exist? Maybe a dozen. Uh, so you know, I <laughs> I really have to had to pay a lot for this, but it is worth it. One of the most unique pieces of my Nintendo 64 collection. And uh, that I guess is that. Now, if you want to learn more, uh, just go to my go to my website uh, fingamer.webs.com and click on the Nintendo 64 button there and uh, you'll see all my expl explanations here and a lot more. Anything you need to know about, about the Nintendo 64. Also one thing uh, that you uh, need to know about my collection here is, is that each and every controller has a, a nearly brand new analog stick. You know, many controllers have uh, really worn out analog sticks but you know all of my controllers here um, if I count each and every one, I have maybe a 50, maybe 50 controllers, and each and every one has a perfect analog stick. So that's one thing worth mentioning. But I thank you for watching this long video uh, about my most cherished uh, collection pieces, and I'll see you next time. Bye.